because I'm a reductionist, I'm an atheist, we've nothing to talk about. And I said, but we have actually. I'm fascinated by reductionism. I know at least three kinds. What kind are you? So we agreed that methodological reductionism, splitting a big problem into a little problem, was a good thing to do and solve the little problems and get insight. But he said, that's not what I mean. No, I said, I know it's not what you mean. You're an ontological reductionist. You believe everything can be reduced to physics and chemistry. He said, absolutely. So I said, let's do an experiment. And I picked up the menu. He said, an experiment? I said, of course, this is Oxford. <laughs> and he read it out. It said roast chicken. It wasn't very imaginative. It wasn't even written in French. And uh, <laughs> he said, roast chicken, what's the problem? I said, none from my perspective. But you're a reductionist. Yes, everything in terms of physics and chemistry. Yes, he said. OK, I said, explain to me the semiotics of these marks, R-O-A-S-T in terms of the physics and chemistry of the paper and ink. And there was silence. And his wife was beside him, and rather embarrassingly, she said, get out of that if you can. <laughs> but he didn't try. He was stunningly honest. He said, you know, he said, I've gone into my lab in Oxford, and he's a world-class biochemist. For 40 years every day, believing that could be done. 